Dublin Electro Rockers La Galaxy are having a smashing 2015 and have been making waves stateside. The new video for their track Love System premiered on US music industry Bible Billboard and band members Michael and David told us they were delighted to work with director Brendan Canty on the video which has a decidedly cinematic feel. We had, we'd been trying to work with Brendan Canty for ages. Brendan had directed the Holzier video and a whole bunch of others. I can't even begin to, to reel off his, his videography, but um, we've been trying to find the right project with him for ages. And um, we, we were all out there shooting with him at one point. I got, I got cut out of that video, by the way. Just, <laughs> just, but like, we could kind of see when we were out there, even just kind of what they were doing was really, really exciting. And, kind of, and Brendan had a really clear idea. And it was just kind of, I kind of just knew it would turn out well. <laughs> First, we were maybe a little bit reticent because, like, we don't consider ourselves actors. So, being like, I mean, genuine, proper actors in this, like, yeah. you know, that have been in Hollywood films and stuff, <laughs> like, we're in this. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, the, 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 the kid from Into the Tato's. West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tato's in it. Yeah, he's, he's the, brilliant. He's, he's very so good. good. Yeah, he's Bin, Bin, we were calling him Benicio del Tato for a while because he just looks. He has this real magnetism. This he's, real he's so intense. The band were recently in New York for the music industry festival CMJ, where they were very well received by American audiences. Basically for us and for other Irish acts that went over, it you know basically boiled down to a couple of shows a day for a week, you know, mm. that you basically go out and you're playing at like, you know, sometimes at like half three in the afternoon in a tiny venue that like, you know, literally you physically can barely fit on stage. We actually, we couldn't. We, we, yeah, the, some of them we didn't actually. Yeah, you, just yeah, put yeah. The, you just put the drummer over by the bar and just like hope for the best. But like those kind of shows have their own energy completely. That's, what, that's how we started out. That's how we learned our trade in those small venues. Just so it was kind of great to, it's great to do it. It's a great buzz to get down into the crowd and have, and have fun at, like, like the, as Dave said, in a weird autumn sunlight. When we come on, we see it as our mission to yeah. to make everyone just yeah, I mean, forget people, themselves and even get into it. Like, the first you know? two or three minutes will, will always be like, whoa, what's the story with these guys? <laughs> they, <laughs> they should know better than this. <laughs> it's <laughs> half three. <laughs> yeah, it's half three, you know. You know so that's kind of, that, that, that it, it's really nice to confound their expectations and, 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 and kind of play with their expectations as well, you know? They were also in LA mixing their new album Le Club with renowned producer Eric Brosek, which perfectly complemented the West Coast tinge themes on the record. But being in the city and, and changed the way we worked even on the, on the album itself. So we kind of what we got out was a very unique feel from our album. It doesn't sound like it, sa it doesn't even sound like we recorded it really, which we did. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, it was incredible for us because you know a lot of, there is kind of LA tinged kind of themes on the album and like that sort of just that kind of West Coast kind of sound and stuff comes through in some of the songs. And just that particular morning where, you know, uh, we were heading off to Los Angeles, it was like, Michael, today you're going to Los Angeles <laughs> to mix your album, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which has songs about Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, we went and mixed with Eric and uh, it was kind of interesting for us in that he was born and bred there. So for us, kind of two Irish guys coming with their, their notions about, about, you know, Los Angeles and stuff like that. Um, you know, we did have that conversation where we were like, look, you know, this is about the fantasy of, of what Los Angeles is. It's not about the reality of it, you know. But it was an incredible experience. Yeah, he, he, he got it straight away. He's like, yeah, I, I know what you're doing. It's fine. Yeah. We, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people would have, would have commented that maybe we hadn't quite captured some of the live energy um, on, on record, you know? So with him, he's got such, you know, amazing pedigree as, as a kind of dance uh, mixer and, and producer. Um, it was very important for us to find someone like him who could kind of breathe that life into what it is that we do, you know? And yeah, we were so pleased with the result. So what's next for La Galaxy? We are going over to the UK um, for a tour at the end of November and then we have surprises for Christmas pretty much. Surprises, surprise shows, surprise tour, all this kind of stuff. But really kind of, like we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna hit Christmas. We're gonna, we're gonna zero in at Christmas and, and, and hit it hard yeah, this year. Yeah, because yeah. over, over the years, it'd be like every, everything would always be geared towards maybe do a Christmas show in the middle of December and then do your New Year's show, your big show. But we're actually not gonna do it this year. We're gonna do like a specifically tour at Christmas where people are out and wanna have a really good time, you know? And we're gonna go there and, and, and you know, be there, for, be there, be there, Santis.
Will you have fancy costumes? Uh, maybe if we can get them in gold and pink and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>